Welcome to a new Let's Play with some of our mistakes. Hello and welcome to a mod spotlight. Today we are on Lone Oak Palm. It is out. I'm going to stop there while I'm ahead. We've got a dog and our farmhouse. Not sure whether you can go in the house or not. We shall check. Yes, you can by all means. Nice warming fire. And uh, yeah, it's looking, looking good. Can you get upstairs? You can. So we've got an office here, which yeah, uh, computers lighting up the orange lights. Uh, downstairs must be in one of these doors. Here's a back passageway back into the thing. We're going to open all the doors. We're not. This leads you into the garage. Room to put your truck, lawnmower over there, and some rubbish bags. Garage doors all open, which is good. Nice workshop there as well. There's a nice big kitchen. That door doesn't open, neither does that one. And then out to the back door on the patio area. Nice patio area. We will not going to spend all the time looking around there. We will have a look at the farmyard. This is where your cows are. Nice cow shed. Beautiful. I love the sound on those doors. That, now that really does sound totally realistic. So, yeah. To that end, another storage place. There's your slurry pits and everything. Nice sheds there for your tractors and again nice creaking doors only one of the doors opens I think but uh, looks like it opens wide enough to get a tractor and trailer in grain silo there as it was before tip in there and goes up the augers and into the bins that's great another sheds over here again sounding lovely nice workshop nice storage area with your combine in it that one doesn't open but yeah lovely setup ready to go start off with what do you start off with field wise you start off with field 29 32 34 41 and 42 again the truck is over here we will go and get our truck and have a drive around Little old truck here. I haven't got any mods installed, so should show it off to its best. We'll zoom out, we will go this way up. Um, 
massive, massive fields. We do start off with a lot of fields. We will bring the map up. There's soul points right down the bottom, so we will travel down. Have a look at the soul points. Can't really see where the map ends. The boundary is great, as you'd expect with Bullet Bill and Notches and David's work. Yeah, this is nice little grass field. That was a little grass field. It's not overly little. Just coming down. We need to go down here. Whoa. Big wide open. That is the edge of the map. Uh, that's that's good. Looking at the map there. You wouldn't think that was the edge of the map, would you? It's it's nice, nicely done. So coming up now to the first of the cell points, which is Lone Oak Stores. This, once we finish the season we're doing on Felsbrunn, this is going to be the live stream series. And again there, that is the edge of the map, I think, and you can't really tell. So soul point there for... Oh, hang on, we've got to have a look in here. I think that is something of interest. Let's say... Potato tipping point, I'd have thought. Another one there. I think they're just for decoration. Don't think you're tipping it, I think you're tipping here. Hollister root cop cold storage. Also, we have left the auto engine stop start on. We will pop across the road, have a look. In the next cell point, which is, let's just come down into it. Lone Wolf, Lone Wolf Pacific Grain. Uh, nice grain silo, just drive round in here, tip in there. Lovely sounds on the silo as well. Now we will zoom back out again. So you can see the map. We want to be heading the other way actually. We want to head the other way up here. It's like Route 66, this down here, it's nice and straight. Uh, yeah, we want to go straight up here and we will come to Manure Cell Point and the Spinnery next. See what they are like. Nice little river type pond there. Nice little burger van there. Anybody got the name on it? Yeah, nobody got the name on it, it's just a taco bar. And then just there is the livery yard. This is where you will have the horses if you're going to do that. Nice little livery yard, nice way in there to feed them and give them water. Not sure what that spawns over there, but that is the livery yard. Oh, now we've crashed into a tree. Yeah, across the way, we will zoom back in again so you can see what's 
happening. New cars are coming, and here we have Green Oak Woolen Mill. So this is where you will bring your wool and your manure. Nice that you got wool stacked up there. Good map for doing the cotton harvesting on with the cotton DLC. John Deere DLC for cotton. Good way of getting that started and probably even a good way of get two running. A John Deere and a case and see how it goes. Nice wooded area here. We will go in a little bit. We are coming up to another soul point down here. A little old shack there. Another little old sh well, looks like it could be someone's farm. And in here is another soul point somewhere in here. Most probably a lumber yard. I know, there's your straw sack, that's brilliant. Straw sole point away from the main farm. Like that on maps a lot. Not a big fan of placing the straw sole points on the farms that you're using. You wouldn't sell your straw on farm. Like that, so uh, we will head off again and keep following this right up to the top oh, there's a the sawmill across the far end and we will come to the animal dealer agri xj and the biogas plant it's looking like it could be a secondary yard here not sure it could just be someone's yard yeah looks nice though Nice to have the detail like that added into it. And over this side now, we are coming up to the animal dealer and the. Oh, gone past the animal dealer, I think. The dealership. His case. I'd have thought really it would have been. Possibly John Deere dealership, but it's good being case as well. Case are in the USA. And what do you sell in here? I do not know. We're not even in the animal dealers. We are in somebody's private yard. Uh, the animal dealers. There's the dino that was in 17 as well. It's good that that is still there. Here is the Mannings of Lone Oak Case IH dealership. It looks like they have Challenger, Caterpillar, Brent. Case and John, and John Deere still, and across the way we have got Agri XJS. So that icon we saw is the shop icon, not the animal dealer. Ah, the animal dealer is down here. So in there we have got another of the grain soil points driving here again beautiful sounds on the soul point wouldn't expect anything less with oxygen david's work doing a, he's done a great job of bullet bills low note farm govco renewable biogas plant so there is the biogas plant. Nice yard for 
taking your silage and if you're big into doing silage and stuff like that then yeah that's a good one there's the whoop, up on the, the banks and here sorry winter oaks auctions that is the animal dealers and that is that. We will get across and see how far we are now to the end of the map. Now look at that. You can hardly see coming to it. It is a blind... Yeah, just bash into me, why don't you? We shall now head across this dirt track. Taking the sights on the way again we are skirting the borders and you can't really tell you can see it's there when you're this close but it's not not an horrible transition down, down here looks like a public footpath through there oh is it I think you may need to be up in the air to get the benefit of that. But these fields are not all totally square. I like that. Having just totally... I mean, there is square fields on the map. As you'd expect, it could be because it's in America. We will head down here to the last point of interest, the sawmill. We will finish off at the sawmill. Not showing you everything, don't want to spoil everything for you. So yeah, this is This is a beautiful, beautiful map. I'm not a fan of non British maps, but this Ian and Sons Lumber Company. And again all the sounds you can hear them working that is absolutely brilliant we'll move away a bit get a bit quiet let's check and see how much land is around here you own a big chunk of land all this spare ground that's not agricultural land you own so let's have a look field 50 927,552 if you go down to field 37 211 104 for 38 36 97,000 so yeah 13 is 764 24 877 and 26 is 675,000 so that's As you'd expect for the size of the fields, about what it is. So, starting equipment. This is as you'd start on new farmer. Starting with the equipment already on. John Deere 6135M. A John Deere 8245R. The S790 John Deere Combine Harvester. The pickup we've been going around in the... 1978 Lizard Pickup. You start with the Joskin Drachner 8600. The 645 FD Edder for the John Deere. The Lemkin Titan 18. The Census 8003 2TX Super from Amazon. The Osh Pronto 9DC, the Metris 4102 Kuhn Sprayer, the 